Hello, I'm Gerard Cusano, composer with OCP and director of liturgy and music at the Church of St. Luke, and this is your liturgical minute. This week, we enter into the season that is surpassed only by the Triduum and Easter in its holiness, the season of Christmas. Now, it's important to remember that Christmas begins on the 25th and not before. As a priest friend once said to me, don't anticipate, participate. Parishes do well to limit the singing of Christmas music to the season that begins on Christmas Eve and not before. Then throughout the entire Christmas season, unto the baptism of the Lord, let the Christmas carols ring out. Remember, this is the only time of the year that we sing these beloved songs, so use them unsparingly. That is the easiest way to help your community enter into full, conscious, and active participation in the liturgy. Let me ask you this question. What time is your midnight mass? Encourage your community to celebrate it as a true midnight mass at 12 a.m. Remember, the church has so much joyful anticipation of celebrating the birth of Christ that we must do it at the very stroke of midnight. Now, the church celebrates the journey of our faith life in its rhythm of the liturgical year. All throughout the year, we celebrate the beginning of new life in baptism, the commitment of married love in matrimony, and the entering of eternal life in funerals. This time of year is perhaps the most difficult for families to celebrate a funeral, and there may be some reluctance to celebrate a funeral in the midst of Christmas decorations and liturgy. But don't ignore some of the beautiful texts that connect the Incarnation with our belief in our heavenly destiny with Christ. A carol such as, What child is this with its text? For sinners here the silent word is pleading, and The King of Kings salvation brings is an excellent communion hymn. Lo, how a rose there blooming is also another wonderful piece. Even the final verse of Hark the Herald Angels Sing speaks of salvation through the Incarnation. These pieces, played in a pastorally sensitive manner, can help families through their struggle with Christmas time grief. Next time we will talk about the upcoming season of Lent. Until then, I'm Gerard Cusano. Have a blessed day.